Meanwhile, back on the very small island, the hatchlings and May were still staring in fright at the snake that held the eggs. They all looked at each other. And then... Punching and thudding noises could be heard as, as the tall grass jostled. Then they emerged from the grass, all wearing snakeskin western style, western country clothes and accessories with the eggs as, ca as cowboy music played. Well, that got dark. She straightened her new snakeskin belt. May wore a small snakeskin eye patch. Whoa, I never thought I would do this. Back on Eagle Island, Talon and Crystal had led the team to the base of the superweapon volcano. Reg peeked up, peeked up and looked through some binoculars. He could see Eagle guards at every window, tower, and door. Okay, gang, listen up. He slid back down the hill. This place is crawling with security, but if you guys follow me... He saw that the rest of the team, except for Indigo and Marcus, giggling excitedly. Hey, what's going on? What do you think, guys? Should we show him? Show me what? Harvey! They lifted, they lifted up, he lifted up a big, blue, goofy-looking eagle costume. Super lifelike disguise, right? Whoa! Indigo was a bit startled by a disguise look. Disguise? We thought we'd let you drive. And I'm gonna help you pedal. And you can have a turn too, Indigo. Red felt a little hurt. Wait, you guys came up with this idea without me? Yeah. We then go through one of Red's eyes as he imagines the team including Indigo and Marcus, having fun and laughing with Harvey, leaving poor Red all alone in a si single spotlight. Then Harvey turned back to Red and gave him a little goodbye loser wave. That made Red feel very heartbroken and left out as he wiped away a tear. Well, I guess we could help. Yeah, well, it's not gonna work. Huh? Huh? We think it's our best chance of getting past the guards and into the super weapon. I'm with Silver. Me too. Yeah, she's smart. All right, look, everyone is cutting on me to make sure... No, Dad! Indigo was getting angry himself. Everyone's counting on us! Fine, whatever, Indigo. So, your plan is to get into the super weapon with that? Harvey, don't, do not take offense. He does not mean it. Ugh. Fine. Fine. You know what? I'll just be up here saving the world. He tried to climb up the hill but couldn't get a grip and fell down. Just like I should have been doing this whole time. This made Indigo feel very upset. Red was forgetting his promise that they would do it together. But at the same time, he still cared so deeply about his dad and wanted to stay with him and help. Uh, guys, I 100% believe in you and this Harvey idea, but I think this one's gonna need me. Then Silver came up to Indigo. Still wanna help your dad? Indigo was trying to fight off unhappy tears. I suppose so, Silver. I don't know why, but he's been acting like this ever since the other night, when he refused to tell me what is really making him so sad. But I'll go with you, Silver. I'll come too. Even if I am half bird right now, I'm still me. I'm with you all the way, Indigo. And so am I. 
I'll help too. All right. Come on, kids. Stay close together. Yes, ma'am. Meanwhile, Red, all alone, was doing his own was doing his own way of getting inside the super weapon. He dug into the snow and began burrowing through it like a mole. When he got to the base of the mountain, he popped out of the snow and looked around a corner to see if anyone was there. When he turned back, well, they didn't see us. Hi, Red. What? This isn't an us thing, Silver. I've got this covered. Go away. And kids, you stay with her. Red began to climb the mountain. Indigo, still determined, was getting a little angrier. No, Dad! You promised we'd do this together! I'm staying with you! <sighs> All right, fine. But stay close, got it? Yes, Dad. I got it. But he secretly felt, but he still felt upset and even a little hurt that Red had snapped at him like that. Fuchsia, Silver, Fuchsia, and Marcus followed after them. Is this a good time to talk about your feelings? No, it's not a good time! Red kept on climbing with Indigo flying alongside him, neither of them making eye contact with each other. Golly, I've never thought Red could get so cranky. You have no idea. Silver rolled her eyes and sighed as she kept on climbing. Don't worry, Indigo. You still have us, and I'm sure we'll meet up with the rest of the team later. I hope so. Whoa! Red slipped. He struggled to get back right up and refused to take Silver's hand. No, no, I don't need your help, okay? I meant to slip. Leave me alone! Then the wind blew Red's winter hat off. Your hat fell off! Yeah! I got rid of it because it was getting heavy! The wind and snow blur out our view of them. Meanwhile, we see the rest of the team get into the Harvey costume. Leonard was operating the mouth. Alright guys, big action is a go! Arms! What say you? Armed and ready! Courtney and, and Gary worked the arms. Then the eye of the tiger music began to play. Two fully functional armies! Right above our leggies! <laughs> Alright, leggies! Show me what you got! Chuck bike pedaled on the legs. And Bomb pushed two handlebars. <laughs> oh, yeah! The bird kids and piglets were hanging on to the sides of the costume. Whoa! Wow! Oh, whoa! We're moving! Woohoo! We got this! We must look amazing! But the way they were walking was all wonky and funny. Come on, guys. This way, said Talon as he and Crystal led the way. Okay, guys, we're going live. They saw Carl and Jerry, the two eagle guards, at the entrance. Come on, Jerry. You know there's no snacking while we're on duty. But I had a really small breakfast, though. He looked down at a frozen fish he had in his hand. All right, I'll do the talking with Town and Crystal. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, fellow Eagle Guards! Hmm? Hmm? Oh no, he's doing a voice. Uh, not to worry, guys. He's with me and Chris. Chris is the nickname Talon used for Crystal. I'm running late to the old job. Commute was rough today for some reason. But these two helped me out. And the good news is I made it. Harvey was facing the wrong way. 
uh, uh, turn your head, Harvey. Nine degree turn, quick. But the god knows as. Wait, the. Thanks, Crystal. He turned Harvey's head. But the god knows as. I made it thanks to these youngsters. Harvey's hands patted the two eagles on their heads. ID, please. Oh, uh, ID? Uh, not sure I have it on me. Then he whispered down to the others. Act like you're checking your pockets. Uh, it's stuck. Stuck? Chip saw what was making it stuck. Hey, what's this thing do? He touched it, and as a result, the stuck arm got free and it punched the head of, with Leonard on top. Ow! What the heck are you doing? Oops, sorry, sir. My bad. Guards, be on the lookout for a possible intruder, said an eagle over the walkie-talkie. Wait a minute. He walked towards them. What's happening? Leonard, shh, he's on to us. Uh, Daddy? Hmm. You're so dead. Talon and Crystal were both so scared they started to sweat. All right, I know what's going on here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Jerry, you getting a load of this? Yeah, I think I am. Jerry held up his ice spear. Chuck was so scared, he hid inside Bomb's belly feathers. Courtney was so scared that she put her hood over her head and tightened it. Yeah, Jerry, I know exactly what's going on. <sighs> this right here. Bomb's fuse lit up as if ready to explode with fear. Is obviously a new guy. Yeah, imposters in a costume. Wait, what? Oh, huh? 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 Phew! Yeah! You're the new guard for the East Tower! Leonard blinked twice, then spoke in his Harvey voice. Yes! Yes, I am! Uh, he sure is, mate. <laughs> and we helped him find his way. <laughs> I knew it. Jerry swept the new guy in. Oh, and the two kids, too. I mean, what harm can they do if they helped him, huh? Okay. Jerry swiped a key card, and the door opened. Thank you so much! <laughs> right this way, Harvey. Just follow us. Then they went in past the guards, and the door closed behind them. All right, you lot. We're in! We're in! Awesome! Oh, yeah! Then Harvey started to dance. We did it! Work it! Work it! But none of them realized that an eagle gar named Axel was watching them. Wiggle the butt! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Huh? <gasps> and Axel stood there frozen in awkward silence as he stared at them. Uh, this way, Harvey. Uh, yeah, follow us. Uh, great dancing, by the way. <laughs> he always dances when he's happy. So Harvey followed Talon Crystal as he danced a again. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Axel stood silent for a moment, then put down his spear and smiled joyfully as he started to do the same dance moves Harvey did. <laughs>